I'm receiving a lot of questions regarding how to update a Thrustmaster wheel. And since Thrustmaster just released in January 2019 the new driver update, I figured it's the best time to do a video about that and show you how to update your wheel. So let's jump to it. The first thing you need to do is to place the PS4, PS3 switch into PS3 position because if you let it to PS4 position, the PC won't recognize the driver when you will connect the wheelbase to your PC. The next step is to open the control panel on your PC. Mine is in the taskbar, but yours will probably be in the start menu. And after that, you click on hardware and sound, which will be the third option in the, this page. And after that, you will click on device and printer, which is the page where your wheel or any controller will appear when you connect it. Now it's time to connect your wheel to the PC. When your wheel appear in the page, you right click on it and you click on gaming control setting. Uh, the little window will appear and then you go and you click on property. Uh, it will lead you to the control page of your wheel. This window allow you to change the setting of your wheel if you game on PC, but if you game on console, the only box that matter is check for update. So you click on it and you click yes in the warning window and the update process will start. You will have to answer yes or no couple of time depending if there's a firmware update available or if you have only a driver update but everything will be explained on the screen so you just need to follow the instructions. It is not a very big update but you need to let the PC do its thing. Your wheel might restart by itself, it is normal. Uh, the control window might restart as well but it's not always the case. If it does, it's also normal. And your wheel or your controller might change position in the control panel, but there's nothing to worry about. It is perfectly normal after a driver update. You might have noticed that uh, in the control panel of the wheel, I had the Ferrari F1 add-on showing up. If you have the T300RS or the T500 or the T150, uh, you will have a different wheel. Obviously, you will have your wheel, but you have nothing to be worried of if you don't see the F1 add-on. It's just because I have this wheel installed on my wheel base, but the update process will be the same. The update is almost done. It was only a driver update. If you have to update the firmware as well, it might take a little longer, but overall it's about a three minute, three minute and a half update. It doesn't matter if you race on Xbox or PlayStation. If you want to update the firmware, the only way is to connect your wheel to a PC. You can do that on a laptop, obviously, but it cannot be done on a console. As you can see, the update is done, so it was not very long, about three minutes, three minutes and a half long update. After that, if you race on PC, you need to restart your PC so the driver can be updated. And if you race on console, you're done and you can connect it back to your Xbox or PlayStation. The update might have uh, reset your settings to default, so before starting gaming, you better go in the control panel of your PC or your console and check if your settings are still the same or if you need to tweak them again. This is it for now guys, I hope you will find this video helpful. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell so you will be notified as soon as I will release a new video. So on this, I wish you a great day and goodbye.